Yo, what is good? Welcome back to the playthrough of Mega Man The Wily Wars. Uh, in the last part, we just finished Mega Man 2. Um, getting that big all clear. Um, so now we got Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2 done. And next up, we are starting the big Mega Man 3. Um, which out of this trilogy is the least, the one I've played the least. Um, so I'm kind of excited to play this one again because I don't know it as much. Um, but yeah, this game's sick. <laughs> All the Mega Man games are pretty cool. This one's uh, really cool, too. Um, so I think I usually start with Magnet Man. And one thing that's really cool about this game is that it introduces uh, the old trusty... Oop. No trusty slide. Uh, there's no charge beam yet. I think that's introduced in Mega Man 4. You have the slide. Um, and I think it also introduces uh, Rush as well. Oh, I see blue. Oh, there you go. So yeah, now we got Rush, and he's pretty much like pretty much like item one, I guess. Like the replacement for item one for Mega Man 2. And we also got Proto Man. I forget the story with Proto Man. But he's like randomly in stages. Um, in general, Mega Man 3 is pretty long from what I remember. As well. Like you have... Like you have like the eight standard robot masters, and then you have, I think, four additional stages after that. Like you have to revisit them to fight these other robots. Ooh, dang! He does a lot of damage, man. Get out of here. Ooh, I'll take that. Uh, and I may as well max this out. Okay. Okay. Oh, get out of here, dude. Starting to miss my Metal Man ability. So I think in this game, the abilities and, like, the boss weaknesses, I think they make sense again. Because Mega Man 1, they made sense, right? Like, one boss is weak to another. And it wasn't, like, weird, like Metal Man. So I think this game it starts to make sense again. Like I think Magnet Man's good against Hard Man. I forget why I start with Magnet Man first. Oh boy. Gee, oh my god, I don't want to fall in that pit, dude. What the heck? Look at that. <laughs> Dude. You know, I, s I don't remember that being in the NES version, man. I, s I swear these Genesis versions are, like, harder than the NES versions. Like, straight up. not too bad. Okay. Should I go back for the health? I think there's health down here, right? May as well, right? Uh... Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my god. Well, I have the same damage, so that was just a waste of time. Oh well. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay, I think I have his pattern down. Like, I remember his pattern. That's probably why I start with him. This is a good, a good boss. Ugh. I like his attack pattern. Ugh. Boom! There we go. He might have been more weak to the Mega Buster. I think I noticed I was doing like two HP per hit. Hey. You got Magnet Missile. Nice. Alright, and next up we are going to fight Hardman. Ooh. I keep forgetting the buttons, man. <laughs> oh boy. Because I think, um, for the other Mega Man games I've been playing, I have uh, the left face button and the bottom face button. Left face should be shoot, and then bottom face should be jump. I don't need this. Uh, oh boy! But for for this game, I have it I have it set up so bottom face is shoot and then right face is jump. Yeah, I keep getting tripped up on that. Uh, all right, it's kind of interesting how it kind of requires you to use rush jet here or rush coil. Really? There we go. Oop. Is it, this game is so weird how it just has the slide and not the uh, charge up. Like it's crazy how it took how it took so long to, for them to add the, add the charge beam. The charge beam is introduced in Mega Man Four. And I think in Mega Man 9 and 10, it doesn't even have charge or slide. I think with Mega Man, it's just shoot. Um, but pro I, I remember Proto Man having jump and slide. Oh boy. Dude. How do you dodge this guy? Which I don't know what I think about that. I think, um... I think Mega Man's better with charge and slide. I, I guess it makes sense with 9 and 10 how they have... Proto Man, he has those features, but uh, he's also weaker. Oh, I want that E tank. Do I have any E tanks already? I already forgot. I have none. Okay, this is my first E tank. Cool. Gladly take an E tank. Okay. Oh boy. Proto Man. Bro, this this stage kind of sucks. Ugh. Can't even hit this dude. Bro, this stage sucks. I can't even hit him. Oh my god.
How is this dude kicking my butt? This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, man. He had a little bit of a hill and an incline, and he's like way harder. See, in this game, the weaknesses are a bit more refined. You don't got this metal man beats everything kind of nonsense. What? Dude. There we go. That would have been terrible if I would have ran out of uh, weapon energy. That would have not been good. You get a fist. You know, it's pretty cool. I haven't played Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy, but, um... Oh, I played it a little tiny bit. It was cool is, like, if you do a fully charged... Uh, like Buster's shot, he like shoots his fist instead of like a uh, traditional like charge charge beam, which is kind of interesting. Save our game, and next up we are gonna fight uh, Top Man. Oh, I remember this song's pretty sick. Okay, this is a song that sounds pretty sick with the Genesis uh, chip. Genesis soundboard. Oof. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, I may as well get that right. Okay. How many lives do I have? Oh boy. For some reason, I thought I couldn't move. I thought, like, if I landed on it, I would just, like, stay on it for some reason. Oh, man. Let me jump cut back there. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Ooh, okay. Easy. Oh wow, we're at the boss. Ba -dum -bum, ba -da -da -dum. Uh hard man. Boom. Boom. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I always forget how much easier bosses are if you just use your weakness. I'm like bracing myself. I'm like, oh, hopefully I can beat him, but no, nah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I think this ability is kind of useless, but it's like really good for. I think it's really good for the final boss, and I think it's good for. I mean, whatever. Um. So what's week two again? I think Shadow Man, right? I'm pretty sure it's Shadow Man, so let's do Shadow Man next. Oh boy. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Bro, is Proto Man in every stage? I think he's literally been in every stage. Not really a big fan of this fight, to be honest. I don't look forward to fighting a dude jumping and shooting two bullets. Like, I, I, I forget the lore with Proto Man. I think he's like the first robot master or something. But those fights are kind of annoying. They're just like. They feel like advertisements, you know? It's like, oh, I gotta watch the ad. Here comes Proto Man. Look at Proto Man. It's just jumping around, dude. Oh, I can't see anything. Dude, get these nades out of here. Please don't have spikes around. Can I not shoot it? Dude, there's so much lag, too. He's introducing all this lag. Get off the screen. Thank you. <laughs> can't tell what I'm doing. Lagging up the game. I can't see where I'm going. Ugh. Please get off the screen, thank you. Oh, there's a hole right there. Okay, that's where I gotta go. Uh, so I'm surprised there was no spikes in that room. I'm surprised there was no spikes or holes or anything to insta-kill me. Dude, why do you have so much health? As far as he doesn't die in one hit. Oof. I'll just take the hit. I don't want to risk getting bumped in the hole. Same with this guy. They're like positioned in the worst spot. Same with this guy, man. Basil, just take the damage. We're at the end of the level already? We are. Ow. Do I want to try to get health from these dudes? I could. I even know how to kill them? They might kill me. Okay, maybe I can get some health. Save me a life. If I get hit again, I'm just going to go to the boss. Alright. Yeah, you know what? Let me jump cut it to give me some health. Alright. That's good enough. Pretty much max health. God forbid I die by like 2 HP or something. Okay. Boom. Boom. Easy. Easy. I feel like with some of the bosses in Mega Man 2. Um, even with Mega Man 1, it's like, you can have the weakness, but you're still gonna struggle. I forget there's any bosses like that in this game, but, like, uh, what's a good example? Like, what's Cutman Week 2 again? Gutsman, which, I think when you fight him in, uh, when you fight Cutman in the Wily stages, I don't even think there are any 
like Guts Man blocks the throw at him, so it's like you have to know how to beat him with a buster. Um, and then Mega Man 2 has Wood Man, who's like, his weakness is, is the Heat Man thing, but you want to save that for Wily, you know, so it's like, I don't know. Maybe that'll be the same case as we move forward. Alright, next up, we are going to do Spark Man. Oh boy, you know, let's just run past that. You know, I gotta say, I think so far I like the level design in this game the most compared to Mega Man 1 and 2. Um, like Mega Man 2, I think I was mentioning it, I feel like there's a lot of enemies that you just... You know, you rather just tank through. Especially if you're playing on the NES, like, normal mode, which is essentially, like, easy mode. Oh boy, what is this? God, man. How are you going to give me a random platform with random velocity to jump on? Of course I'm going to die on that. Um, but yeah, I was just saying, I feel like I feel like Mega Man 2 had a lot of spots that you could just tank through. Um, Mega Man 1, I feel like not, not as much. But I, may, I might just be misremembering it already. Ooh, okay. That's some Kaizo stuff, man. Literal Kaizo platforming. If it's hard, it's Kaizo. Or if it's hard, we're talking Dark Souls. What was that crazy? I always think it's so funny when people were like, uh, when Crash Bandicoot got its trilogy release, and they're like, oh, it's just like Dark Souls. Hey, come on, man. See, maybe games are supposed to be hard, you know? They're supposed to be at least challenging. If you don't like playing challenging games, you know, that's fine. But I think it, I think a game in my in my game gaming enthusiast philosophy, I think a game should challenge you. You know? It doesn't have to challenge you like crazy hard, but I think it should challenge you in your abilities, you know what I mean? Like it, it, you should go in with the question of can I beat this? And even if the answer is yeah, I probably can. Uh, it's good to have that doubt, you know? Because then, like, if you know for 100% sure you're going to be able to beat a game, then, like, what's the point of even playing it? Ooh. Like, honestly, if you just won every game you play, that would be kind of boring. You know what I mean? You could be the best, and it's just... It's boring if you're the best, honestly. Like, if we're, if we're talking multiplayer games, I've learned that... You know, you kind of want to. It's good to. It's good when everyone's like a similar skill. Uh, with Shadow Man. Does this thing work like? Oh, bro! <laughs> look at look at this. Look at this nerfed, nerfed uh, Metal Man ability. That's so funny. They're like Metal Man. No, we gotta nerf that. Look at that. It's obviously the Metal Man because you can do the diagonal, but you can't do it as far. It's probably not as strong. It still takes a little bit of um, energy, though, which is kind of funny. It doesn't take a lot of energy. Ooh. I just tank it, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, I think games should be challenging, though. Multiplayer games, if you're the best, it's just, you know... It, you're gonna be on a lonely hill, which you know, and in, in a multiplayer for multiplayer, you don't want to be on a lonely hill. You know, you want to go where people are at in multiplayer games. Like I, I played the heck out of Halo Three, and once everybody stopped playing it, and you know, literally everybody stopped playing Halo. Um, you know, I I had to move on from it. I tried. What else did I play after that? I think I tried looking for like any game after that. Maybe like a little bit of Call of Duty, a little bit of whatever. And I think the game that I got into after Halo 3 was like... Oh, you know what it was? It was competitive Pokemon. I got into Pokemon 
X and Y and played um, like the Smogon rules. That's how I kind of got my competitive itch. And then I and then from there I went to Fortnite, which was like uh, the next game that I played for multiplayer. Um, and I kind of stopped playing Fortnite. I don't even really know what I play now. I'm, I think I'm kind of over competitive multiplayer games. Um, like lately I, for multiplayer, I've just I've, I've been playing a lot of Hell Divers. Hell Divers has been pretty fun. Uh, but let's get started with the next boss. Let's see the Needle Man. Um, but yeah, Hell Divers is sick. Another game that I want to get back into is Monster Hunter. I played that a bit. Um, starting with Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate on the 3DS. So I'm not not one of those Freedom Unites, you know, OGs, but like, uh, pretty OG. I'm OG enough. I didn't start with World. Which, if you started with World, that's fine. I think, I think Monster Hunter World is a good entry point. Um, uh, Monster Hunter is a sick game, though. It's like probably my favorite cooperative game. It's so good. Ooh. Jeez, man. God. Th those bugs have a lot of health, man. Good, good lord. Ooh. I feel like they butchered this song on the Genesis sound chip. I think with I think with these with the Genesis songs for these games, I feel like most of the songs are misses, but some of them hit. Some of them are hits, but most of them are kind of misses compared to the NES ones, in my opinion. Uh, ooh, I don't know if those are insta kills or not. Boom! 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 Yeah, I really haven't been playing anything competitive lately um, for multiplayer games. I don't even know how I got to this conversation. Oh, I was talking about, you know, being on a lonely hill of skill. It's never fun. And with Fortnite, so people still play Fortnite, but the thing is for me, I'm just... Can I kill this guy, please? Thank you. Um, with Fortnite... It, it, it just changes way too much, you know, like this, I think it's in chapter 5 now, and it's just, like, they, there's just too much stuff now, there's too much. There's, like, attachments on the guns, uh, you know, the old map is gone. If they, if they do another OG season, and they bring back the original map, like, I would absolutely play it. Like, that, to me, is still fun. Um, I, I remember seeing a comment on some random video, too. Where somebody was like, oh, like, uh, like, don't, what did it say? It said, someone was like, I wish the OG map would stay around forever. And someone was like, no, like, uh, something that's good shouldn't be enjoyed all the time. And I'm just like, why are people like, I mean, I, I play games that are kind of like masochistic, like Kaizo, Dark Souls. But it's like, why, <laughs> what do you mean? It's like, this game is better, but we want the worse version so we can appreciate the good version more. It's like, you guys are crazy, man. There, there should be just the OG season permanently. That's what I think. If I was running for president, I would I would say we need Fortnite OG season permanently. Because that's still fun to me. That's still great. It's so good, man. It's, it's simple. You know, you don't need... Can I hit this guy? Wait, is he not weak to spark? Ooh... Ooh. What is he weak to? I thought I knew his weakness. I've already used all these. I made a noopsie poopsie, man. Ooh, we're gonna have to mega bust with this dude, huh? Oh, he's kind of weak to that. Wow. Okay, yeah, uh, Needleman is not weak to Sparkman at all. I, I think this did decent damage though, so we could try this. Ugh. Uh, 
Oh boy. Good slide. Okay, he's not bad. He ain't good, but he ain't bad. Oh boy. Bro, get away from me. What the heck is he weak to then, man? Maybe Snake Man or something? Wow. Oh, we're good, though. But using the Mega Buster makes it more fun, honestly. You got Needle Cannon and Rush Jet. Ooh, ru <coughs> Rush Jet. <coughs> Excuse me. Rush Jet is good. Rush Jet is good. Alright, and then next we are going to do Snake Man. But um bum bum bum. I'm really enjoying this game. I forgot how much I like Mega Man 3. I kind of like it more than Mega Man uh, 1 and 2, honestly. I just feel like it's a bit more, like, polished. And it kind of for like I, like I was mentioning before, it kind of forces you to stop and, like, actually fight the enemies. Uh, and the slide's really cool, too. I haven't really been using it as much as I probably should have been, though. But yeah, what, what, what multiplayer games do you guys play? I mean, I tried getting into Apex Legends. I tried like Call of Duty Warzone. Um, I just don't, I just don't care for them. Maybe I'm just getting old or something. Maybe I'm just getting too old to play multiplayer competitive stuff. You know, I don't know. I'm too old. I mean, it was definitely like a high school thing be playing like Halo 3, you know, on the Xbox 360, like that, that was like, that was an awesome time. That was like one of my favorite moments in gaming, like just always online, going into like, playing ranked, MLG settings, man, back before MLG was a meme and it was like, actually cool to be MLG, I don't even know, I don't even know what MLG is now. Major League Gaming. Back then it was cool. Back then it was cool. Now it's like Mountain Dew and Dorito memes. Ooh, E-Tank. Ooh, piece of candy. I'll take an E-Tank, absolutely. Can you hold more than three E-Tanks in this game? You might, right? I mean, not three, I mean four, right? One and four... No, one, there's no E-Tanks. Two, there's four E-Tanks. In this game, it looks like it can hold more. Maybe? And Mega Man 1 definitely makes you appreciate having E-Tanks, that's for sure. Ugh. What a jump! God, get these dudes away from me, man. I don't know how to dodge them. I think I knew how to dodge him before, and now I just don't. Get out of here. Boom, boom, do, 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 do. I've always thought the song's pretty sick. Definitely prefer the NES version, though. Definitely prefer the NES version of the song. In general, I prefer like the 8-bit kind of versions of, of songs. <laughs> no way, dude. Okay. Um, I have no health. I'll see. Hopefully the needle doesn't take up a lot of weapon energy. I just want to see if I could beat him this health. I might be able to. Save a, save a life. Uh, can I hit him? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Yep. Well, 
Thankfully, the needle arm doesn't take that much energy. How many lives do I have? Zero. Okay, well, we gotta do this then. Then we have to do this. And we should be fine. This does good damage. I hate jump so weird. Ooh. Oh boy. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. I don't know why it's so delayed. It's like a dramatic pause. You got Search Snake. Oh yeah. And lastly, we got good old Gemini Man. Whatever Gemini means. What is Gemini again? Isn't that like a... I'm not even going to try to guess. What, what does Gemini mean? Oh boy. Oop. Oop. It was kind of weird, but I like it. It reminds me of home. Oh! Come on! We almost done here? Oh god. This man's in every stage! Oh, we're not gonna fight him? Okay. Wait, we didn't fight him uh, in the last stage, though, huh? Interesting. A stage where we don't fight Proto Man. Oh. Uh, you know, it's a good thing I got that life. I probably should have exhausted. How do I want to word this in a very appropriate way? I, I should have exhausted that last life I had to replenish the other. Replenish three more. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Um, how do we get that? You know what? We could do this, I think. You know, this Genesis version of this song is actually kind of cool. I like the instrumentals I got with it. Boom, boo, doo, boom. Like, I might prefer this over the uh, NES version. But I, I, I have to hear that again. I don't know. What? How are you gonna give me this mystery box? Hey, that take the boat. Why, why, Lawless? It could be anything. It could even be a boat. You know what? Give me off this thing. Hey, that take the boat. Now hold on a second, Lawless. It could be anything. Frickin' sweet, it could even be a boat. Get out of here with this mystery box RNG clown circus nonsense, man. I'm breaking my back just to get a bunch of nothing? Like, what is that? You kidding me? You gotta be kidding me, come on. Come on. Big guy like you talking all sweet. Oh my god, this is, you know what, I don't like this level. I just realized I don't really care for this level. <laughs> I just, I'm just shooting nothing. And I'm doing nothing. What is this? I'm starting to really not like this level, man. It's not bad, it's just not good. You know, that's, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting. This dude looks uh, pretty detailed and cool. I'll say that. 
I like the song still. I do like the song. Back at two lives, so that's good. Hello? Hey, uh, Rush Coil. Thank you. We almost at the door. E dude. E dude. Oh, can I actually use this ability? My god, we can actually use this. Wee hee! -hoo. Oh, jeez. Ooh. E tank. E. E dude. No, 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 no. I'm actually running out. I'm running out. I'm running out. Why? Dude. Rush, you suck. I'm very thankful I get a checkpoint right here, but what do you mean I'm going to run out of power? The one time you can use that ability and I run out of power? Like, really? Oh, dude. Okay. E, dude. Well, now I really don't like this level. I didn't like this level before, I really don't like it now. E, e dude. I'm not gonna go for that. Heck no, dude. I don't know how I dodged that, but whatever. Okay. Uh, let's get some of this back. May as well, right? Maybe we'll... useful. Ugh. Thank you. How many tanks do I have now? Uh, five. Hey, so you can have more than four. Hey, I didn't know that. Five E tanks. That's kind of crazy. Five E tanks. Get your E bros with your E tanks. Look at this goofball, man. Oh, okay. Dang, that's pretty strong. So those. I mean, I think that guy takes a lot of hits. I'm surprised Shadow Man's ability to like do a quick work with him. All right. Are you ready for a low reach for Gemini Man? Search, bro. Oh God. Dude, what the heck? Oh my God. E dude. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yeah, there we go. Ah, not bad. That level just made me a little bit insane, but we're good. Just a little bit. What do we get for that? The Gemini Cannon? Yeah, we get a laser. Look at that. That's a cool weapon. It gives me that death stare at the end. You got Gemini Laser. Yeah, buddy. He went from blue to a little bit lighter blue. Uh, to save our game. Oh, uh, I forgot about this. This makes this like the, one of the longest Mega Man songs. Huh? You gotta go back to these stages, man. E, dude, I don't want to fight these guys again. Uh, okay. Well, I think what we're gonna do, then, in this case, is we're going to... We're gonna save these four dudes, or the one dude, it looks like, for the next part. So the next part is gonna have us fighting these dudes, as well as the Wily stages. So... Stay tuned for that in the next part.